hello you guys and welcome back to my channel so oh my god y'all i am so excited today you guys i'm doing a haul video and y'all know i haven't done a haul in so long it's been like a year so i got so many good things hopefully because some stuff i ain't smelled yet but um before we get into it you guys make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to my channel and make sure that you are following me on instagram my name is uh, amber chantel on instagram spelled the same way and make sure that you like the video and if you don't y'all know what you can do go ahead about your business all right so you guys oh, i've been waiting so long i've been have i've been getting all this stuff in the mail you guys all these perfumes and um it's been so hard not smelling stuff. So let's get right on into it, y'all, because I have 10 perfumes. That's right, y'all. This is a huge haul. 10 perfumes. Now, let me just give a disclaimer. I don't do hauls all the time, so it ain't like I just be going out buying 10 perfumes all the time, y'all. I ain't got the coin like that. I don't, y'all. For me to buy something... I got to feel like I really like it, want it. I do my research on it, all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and start. So the first perfume, y'all, is... Now, this one, hmm, let me put some lotion on these hands. They always be feeling dry and looking dry and stuff. Y'all, this is going to be a long video. Like, I can already tell it's going to be a long video. So, get your popcorn, y'all. Get your snacks. Whatever else y'all been eating, y'all don't need. Get that. Because we're going to have a good old, good old time. Let's go ahead and start with this. Now, I bet y'all probably never seen this before. You see this bottle? This is Unforgivable Woman Black. And let me, y'all, remember how I used to rave about Unforgivable Woman? Unforgivable Woman was like my favorite perfume at one time. I used to tell y'all how it was my most complimented perfume. Everybody used to compliment me on it all the time. I don't wear it as much, but I still wear it sometimes. But I always wanted to get this flanker. This is by Shine John Unforgivable Woman Black. And um, I bought this used from, some, I think off of Mercari or something. But you can't really see the words on it. But it's still pretty much full. It's discontinued, so you probably ain't going to be able to find it. But you know, when stuff be discontinued, it just be making you want it more for some reason. And this one has coconut in it. And so... People used to always be like, okay, it smell like coconut. It smell like coconut. So I'm like, okay, I want it. So I've been wanting this for a while. I found it for a good price. We're going to go ahead and give her a whiff. All right. Let's see what she's giving us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a cute little bottle, though. I like it. It's real mysterious. It's cute. Got the little beads on it. I like it. Hmm. Well, you know what? Hmm. I do smell some coconut, but you know what this smell like, y'all? This smells like toasted coconut. It smells like toasted coconut. Almost, um, almost like a burnt coconut. It's not bad. Yeah. That's exactly now this you know i was expecting a little more but um it still smells like unforgivable woman but it has like that toasted coconut note to it that's what you smell first but y'all know what this would be a good mixer for something else like this is good to layer with something i don't know what i'm gonna have to play with it uh probably something for the fall mm-hmm yeah but she not bad. She, um, I'll give, let me see. I'll probably give her a, just on 
just smelling it you know i haven't really worn it i'll give her a um i'm a stickler i'll probably give her a c she average you know she this ain't nothing you need but i ain't got nothing else that smell like this either it's cool i give a c plus mm -hmm. she get a c plus it's not no must have but it's a nice addition to my collection and since i love unforgivable woman i figured i might as well get the only flanker that it has you know yeah okay all right so the next one that we have oh y'all this next one y'all when i tell you i've been wanting this for so long i was so excited to get this i've been wanting it been just always thinking like I wonder how it smells. <clears throat> I ain't seen nobody talk about this before though, either. I never seen nobody talk about this. So this is the Fendi, Fendi, Fendi Extreme. Hmm. And you see it's a little darker than the Fendi, than the regular Fendi. Um, this has vanilla in it, you guys. And it also has, um, it had notes of leather. And I like leather in perfumes. I like leather and I like suede in perfumes. Because, um, you know, I just like luxurious things. I like leather, baby. Leather in the car, nothing less. Mm-hmm. So, let's, let's give her a whiff. Mm. Ooh, okay. Let's see. Using my handy-dandy bounty. Quick up, pick up, uh. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Okay, y'all. Hold on now. <laughs> Hold on. I like this. Y'all. This is so different. This is so different. And when I say it smells like leather, you pick yes you pick up the leather you gotta like leather notes to like this it it is a vanilla it is vanilla it's pretty and it's oh my god this smells luxurious you guys this is sexy mm, now this is sexy this is something like somebody with some coin i can i can see them wearing this it almost seemed like a niche fragrance. It's not nothing you would... This don't smell like something you can just pick up off the shelf. This is really different and I like it. Oh, this smells good. It's, it smells rich, you guys. I like it. I really like it. I'm going to spray it on myself just to see how she does on my skin. I ain't even put no perfume on. I just got the shower. I ain't putting no perfume on because I know I knew I was gonna be putting stuff on. Mm. Mm -hmm. This smells good. I like this. Now I will say, <clears throat> I'm sure this not this might not be as easy to find, but I will say that um it's not a safe blind buy, but I don't know. You gotta it reminds me, it smells like patent leather. It smells like uh, sweet patent leather or something. It's pretty. I like it. Okay. So yes, this is a this is good. I give her a um. I don't know. I guess I give her an a minus or something. I give her an a. She smells good. I like it. But you know, I feel like I gotta wear it to really grade it. But it's pretty. Okay. So that's my second one. Let me move on along. The next one. I've been wondering about this fragrance. I've been seeing it. Um, I want, I've always wanted more Guerlain fragrances. The only Guerlain that I have is the Mon Guerlain. And that one more mainstream. So I've been wanting, you know, something else. So this is the Insolence. I always want to see how it smells. But I've been scared because I just, hmm, always been thinking that it might smell like too mature for me. Hmm y'all hold on now okay that's the 
let me get a new one because I said it was powdery. Now, I do like powder, but it has to be done in a certain way. This has violets in it, I believe. It has violets. Hmm. Oh, it smells good. This don't smell nothing like, this don't smell nothing like I would have thought. Mm, mm, mm. I like this. Now, I can see myself wearing this. Um, I can see myself wearing this anywhere. It's really fresh, but it's powder. It's powdery, but it's not. It's not too. It's not all baby powder. I thought it was gonna smell like all baby powder or something, but it doesn't. It's something else to it. It has some kind of fruit note to it. Mm-hmm. It has some kind of fruit note to it, and very good i really really like this y'all this really surprised me i did not think i was gonna like this as much as i do this is really beautiful see now i want to spray this on too i'm gonna run out of spots to spray y'all i'm gonna spray it i'm gonna spray it right there on my wrist just on the top part you see it mm -hmm. i'm gonna give her a little a little dry down Y'all, this smells good. I like it. This is beautiful. And I don't think it's too mature. I think that it smells good. What's too mature anyway? Blah, blah, blah. I think it smells amazing. It's a beautiful fragrance. I love it. Okay. Girl, you shocked me. Miss Gorlon. Insolence. Okay, now. All right. So, the next one that we have, y'all... We have Miss Azaro Wanted Girl. Mm-hmm. It's cute. It's uh like the it's in the shape of a grenade. I think that's what it is. And it has this little lever there. That's cute. Now I believe this one is gonna smell like I believe this one is gonna smell like um like sweet. I think it's gonna smell sweet. Okay, so let's go ahead, y'all. I haven't smelled this. Oh, it's a nice spray on her. That monkey said, shh. Mmm. Okay. Y'all. This smells real good, but it smells familiar. It smells really familiar. Let me see. I think it smells like the um Cacharelle I am. I'm gonna go get it and see if it smells like that. Cause that's kind of what it reminds me of now it smells hella good it smells real good now let me smell this because i think that's what it's giving me now y'all know me i don't really too much be liking to have stuff in my uh stuff in my collection that smell the same i just be feeling like what's the use of having something that smell like something else i be wanting all my stuff to smell different and like people be coming in here like you got all them perfumes um and i know need to have all them perfumes i'll be like all my stuff smell different so yes it is a need okay so let me smell so yes this is a yes i am casherelle i think hmm yeah they have a similar quality yeah they smell similar y'all these two smell similar. These two. They both smell good. Um, I guess I'm going to have to see once I wear it. I'm going to have to test the performance. Even though she smells like, yes, I am, it still smells bomb. So, now, the next one that we have. Oh, now this one, y'all. You know I had to give me a Cavalli. I had to bring me a Cavalli in this in this haul i had to get her and i've been wanting this for a while everybody keeps saying every time i do a roberto cavalli um review or video everybody be saying you need to try the um roberto cavalli Nero. you need to try you need to get it i'm like okay because i be looking at the notes and i be like you know i don't know if i'm gonna like it okay so let's try it and i just got the one ounce i think this is you know, 
oh my god y'all wait a minute all this time i thought the bottle was black y'all and it's navy blue y'all know i love blue my favorite color navy is my favorite y'all can't even tell but i'm looking at it in the light and it's navy blue it's not even black it's not even black uh ain't that something anyways okay oh girl and you navy let's see mm. okay see what she giving me oh wait oh my god oh <laughs> y'all this don't smell nothing like what i thought it was gonna smell like this smells bomb as hell if you like the original if you like the original roberto cavalli like oh my god this don't smell nothing what did i think this was gonna smell like i thought it was gonna be like vanilla um like resin powdery i don't know what i thought <clears throat> now i gotta spray her on me let me see hmm oh my I need to work out. Look at these little arms. Just be flapping in the wind. Be flapping. Y'all, this is good. This is almost like, I ain't nothing to take away from my original Roberto Cavalli, which you guys know I love and adore. Love and adore. This one is like almost more wearable. She gets an A. Baby, you, you get an A. You... You, Roberto don't never fail me, you guys. I already be knowing that I'ma like it, to be honest with you. I be knowing. I don't have, I've never bought a Roberto that I do not like. And she sits on her throne. She continues to sit on her throne. Look at how regal, look at how regal she look. She giving it to him. And then I'm thinking it's black and she like, no baby, look closer, I'm blue. Get it right. She's blue. She's navy blue, you guys. She's bomb love her i really don't be buying perfumes unless i think i'm gonna really like them i ain't got the time to be wasting my coins sometimes it'd be a little iffy now this one i didn't know for sure i did not know for sure and i was on the fence like am i gonna like this but she showed out you know when you used to buying perfumes you kind of start knowing what to blind buy i haven't bought any in a long time that i just don't like but it's still kind of premature we're not done with this one yet I still got some blind buys we need to sniff to see. Okay. Now, let me see. Now, this one was a, this one, I think I just bought this for like a real cheap price because she was cheap and I just wanted to have 10. Because I'm like, why would I have a haul with nine perfumes? That's just hella random. Like, it just need to be 10. So, I just found this for the cheap lolo now i don't have any juicy couture perfumes i don't have any of them i don't have nothing against them but i just don't be finding none or smelling none that i just feel like suits me or that i just really like now for some reason i remember this one smelling good now i ain't even gonna lie i already tested this and i was like Hmm. Let me see what she giving me again. Now, this is the original Juicy Couture. I want to say this is the first one. Yeah, I want to say this is the first one. The original. I... Yeah. This smells... Now, I will tell you this. This smells like... Like memories. Like 90s. Or like something like that. You know what I mean? Really, I bought this because I really want another, like, everyday perfume. I thought maybe this could be one. It smells good. It does. Um, But it, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just something about it that smells maybe a little too dated. I don't know. And I ain't even going to say dated because I like old, like, there's some old perfumes that are, are older than this that I love, you know. So, but it's something about this, I don't know. It's cool. It ain't bad. I need to start just wearing it and then see how I like it. It's okay. 
I give her a C. I give her a C. It wasn't like I expected a lot out of her. So anyways, she ain't disappoint me because I didn't expect a lot anyway. So anyways, I'm sorry, girl. I ain't mean to, I ain't mean to talk about you like that, but let me put you to the side. You disturbing this um good old haul that we got going. Okay, now get that out the way, Miss Juicy. Um, ooh, now this one, y'all, I have been wanting this for so long, wondering about it, thinking about it. So now I really love, um, I really love Stella Pop. But when I tell you I love Stella Pop, I love Stella Pop. If Stella Pop only lasted longer, they need to have a Stella Pop, extreme Stella Pop, intense something because it don't last on you. It don't project nothing, but the smell of it is just, I just love it. So they were saying on Fragrantica, people were saying like, this smells like it. They, for years, I've been thinking, okay, well, maybe I just need to get it. So I said, this is the time to get it. I'm going to get it during this haul. I've been wondering about it. This is the Kenzo Joe de Amour Eau de Parfum. Now, am I getting better with my pronunciations? Because you know they be trolling. You can't talk. You can't pronounce nothing. Ugh. Get on and get spit on. <laughs> All right, so. Um, yes, this is a Kenzo Joe de Amour Eau de Parfum. Hmm. Let's give her a whiff. Give her a whiff. I sprayed this already. Ooh, that, that um, Roberto Cavalli uh -huh, is still permeating in my nasal cavities. Okay, so look at this bottle. I'll just show you the bottle. I don't know if y'all got a good look at her, but mm -hmm, yeah, she's cute or whatever. So let's see. Let's see. Now they say it smells like the Stella Pop, so you know I'm expecting it to smell like somewhat Stella Pop. That's why I bought it. So let's see. Oh, it does. It really, it was on the money. Come on now. Come on now, fragrance could. They be coming through sometime. Mm, this smells like Stella Pop, y'all. Now, I bought it. You know, I don't like stuff in my collection that smells like something else. No point of wasting your money to have something that smells the same. But I bought this for the projection and the longevity. Now, do I know if it projects? I don't know. Ooh. Mmm. This is, this is Stella Pop, y'all. This is Stella Pop. Let me. Now, I got to go get Stella Pop. Pop that cool chat, baby, baby, pop. <laughs> pop that cool chat. All right. So I got the Stella Pop. What y'all know about that Luke? <laughs> Luke. Let me see. Let's. Now, which one? I wonder which one came first. Now, where's the Stella? I'm actually side eyeing Miss uh, Stella McCartney. If you made, yeah, Stella, Miss Stella McCartney, how you gonna just make a perfume that smell just like this? I think this came first. You gonna make another perfume that smell like it and then don't even really improve it. Like, if you gonna make something that smell like something, you gotta improve it. Hmm. You know you wrong, Stella McCartney. You know you wrong, baby. People just be ripping off other fragrances. That ain't right, y'all. Let me tell y'all the notes. This is... It said on the bottle, just so you know. It says it on the bottle. Um, This was a tester, so I don't know if that's why they had the notes on the bottle or if they all do. But it has tuberose. You can't go wrong with tuberose. That's my favorite note. Tuberose and vanilla is my favorite. Tuberose, Freesia, 
pomegranates, creamy sandalwood. Now, it does smell good and you know, if it projects, if it lasts, if it, it's just, if it just lasts the same amount, then it's gonna be disappointing because it smells just like it. So, and I was expecting a little more. I was, I wanted it to smell like, uh, I, I mean, I wanted to smell like pop, but I wanted to smell like pop, but better. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was expecting. And she giving me pop, that coach A, pop, pop, that coach A. <laughs> it's that loop. Y'all don't know nothing about that. So, yes, we're done with that one, Miss McCartney. You gonna rip off that perfume like that. You know you wrong for that. Okay. <clears throat> so, the next one is... Oh, I've been wanting her for a long time. Everything I've been wanting. I keep saying I've been wanting everything for a long time. But y'all know I haven't bought... I haven't been buying for real. I haven't did a haul in a long time. So, I've been wanting this Nomad for a long time. This uh, Chloe Nomad. I've smelled it before. Always used to get testers at, at, um, at Nordstrom and stuff. Because they give you testers at Nordstrom. Just like Sephora. At least the one by me. But I could never find it for a good price. And baby, I like to save my coin. I just... It ain't no way in the world I would be able to buy 10 perfumes and they all just be regular price. I ain't got it like that. I be having other stuff to do with my money, y'all. But, um... All these perfumes I got under $45. All these was under $45. Most of them was probably more around the 30-ish, 35 mark. Mmm. Oh, yeah. So fresh. So. Mm hmm. This is such a pretty fragrance. I really like it. This could be worn. Oh. It's almost like it uh, has a citrus in it. It's almost like it has a citrus. Mmm. I don't know what citrus. I don't know. I'm picking up like pink grapefruit, but I don't know if that's in here, but that's kind of what I'm picking up. Something like that. I haven't looked at the notes, but she's beautiful. And I can see why a lot of people like her. She's really pretty. I like it. We'll see. I would spray it on me, but the other perfumes that I have on it would not mix well. Ugh. Something in my eyeball. Mmm. Need somebody to blow in my eye. Okay, so yes, she is beautiful. She's really pretty. I like the um, I like the bottle too. Was this a one point seven? Yeah, this is a one point seven. She's really pretty, you guys. Lovely, lovely, Miss Chloe. Okay, I like it. I'm getting a lot of citrus. I'm getting a lot of freshness. It's beautiful, and I think this will be good for the spring and summer. I got two more, you guys. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, it's hot up in here. I think I'm starting to sweat. Okay. Now. who we almost done. We, we gonna make it. We gonna make it, y'all. Oh, okay. So, this one. So, y'all know. I don't like um Kenzo World. But... I kind of seen that it had a little flank or whatever. This one is called Kenzo World Power. I don't like the regular Kenzo World, but I, but this is the Kenzo World Power. And so, it's a flanker. But I was kind of scared on the notes because I was like, mm, should I get it? Because it has salt as like one of the top notes. Now, I'm like, okay, is it going to be real salty? I'm like, I don't know. So, I said, let me go ahead and get it. And actually, one of my subscribers, she real cool. And she was like, we was talking about it on Instagram. We be DMing. And she was like, um, she was like, I just got, she was like, I got the uh, Kenzo World. And I was like, you got the Kenzo World Power. And she, I was like, how you like it? She was like, I like it. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get it. You know, I be trusting my subscribers. You know, if y'all, I be just like I be um, suggesting stuff. Y'all suggest stuff. I'll be looking into it as well. So I said, okay, I'm going to go ahead and try it. Because I ain't never seen nobody, you know, review it or nothing. So I'm going to see what it's giving me. Ooh, now hold on now. Y'all. Y'all, this smells. It smells good. 
good. <laughs> Ooh, this smells good, y'all. This smells really good. I don't know how the performance is going to be because I haven't worn it, you know, but it's almost like a it's almost like it has a kind of a little bit of a masculine feel to it like like a unisex um like a unisex yeah almost like ysl um intense home the men the one that's got the brown liquid it kind of reminds me of that and i love that cologne i used the word my ex used to have it and i used the word <laughs> but that's kind of what it's giving me it smells really good i think I think a man could wear this, but it smells bomb. It smells so good. It smells so good, you guys. I really like this. If you like perfumes that are kind of like Olympia, give this, get this a try. It's a good one. I have one more. And I'll give you the reasoning behind me buying this one. Um. So the reason I bought this one, you guys, is because I don't have any... I don't have any lemon fragrances um, for the spring, summer. Y'all notice all of these perfumes have been kind of deeper. Not deeper, but a lot of dark ones, sweets, vanillas, and I wanted something more fresh. I don't have any lemon. So I said, you know, I'm going to get the Bright Crystal Intense, Yellow Diamond Intense. Um, but I'm going to tell y'all what I really like. I really like the... Armani Aqua Di Gioia Light and it comes in the the uh, yellow bottle. I like that. And I've smelled it before and I'm like, I really like it. But I really couldn't find it for a good price. So I said, I feel like I could mix this with Michael Kors and it smelled like that. Because that Aqua Di Gioia Light has like a creamy feel to it. And like a lemon creamy feel bright but it's pretty so i said let me try this i could do i could do a couple things with this so let me see mm. Mm. yes yes she's pretty mm. i like it i like it it smells good let me go get that Michael Kors. Y'all know I'm a perfumist now. I be mixing up some some stuff. I be mixing up some stuff. And I be having like stuff in my mind thinking, okay, I think this could work. So let's see. I want to test these together. I'm going to spray the Michael Kors first. You don't know Michael Kors is a tuberose, creamy, C word. Y'all know I'm like that word. Okay, so... Let me spray this on top. Ooh, that, I love two bros. That's my, ooh, I cannot get enough of it. So let's see what it's giving me if I use these together, spray them together. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Ooh, it did what I thought it was gonna do. Mm-hmm. Yes. Ugh. I'm so happy this turned out the way I wanted it to. It smells so good. It reminds, oh, it reminds me of the Aqua Di Gioia Light. I knew it was gone. Your girl be knowing y'all, this smells bomb. If you have the Yellow Diamond and you got this Michael Kors, mix them together, then it's gonna, it's gonna give you what you want y'all. It's gonna give it to you. That's it, it's a long video. Make sure that if you are not subscribed, and y'all didn't watch this whole video and y'all didn't watch other videos. Y'all make sure that y'all subscribe to your girl and show some support, show some love. And make sure that you like the video. And thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.